What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Mr. K-Star's blockchain gaming channel. I'm back with an educational video this time around. I'm going to keep it simple and to the point. This tutorial is going to show you how to transfer WAX from Binance to your WAX Cloud wallet. So if this video helps you in any way, don't be shy and hit that like and subscribe button to help my channel out. Okay, perfect. So let's get started. So I found myself needing some wax to buy NFTs from Atomic Hub the other day, and I had to go through the process I am about to show you. So I thought, why don't I make a video in case people are unsure of how to do this? Like I said, it's pretty simple. And once you see me do it, you'll agree. So first things first, on the Binance homepage, you gotta click wallet. Then you click on fiat and spot. Please ignore the fact that I'm broke. And then you see where it says uh, wax P. If you go all the way to the right, you click on withdraw and it'll take you to this new page. Once you're on this page, all you need to do is input your wax address right here. And if you're not sure what that is, if you log into your Wax Cloud wallet, is the address uh, to the top right as you see here. So I'm just gonna copy mine and go back to Binance and I'm gonna paste it there. Once you do that, you see this pop-up that comes up, okay? It says that the network you chose supports memo. If the deposit platform requires you to fill in memo, please fill it in correctly. Missing or wrong filling of memo may cause loss of your assets. All you need to do is click confirm. And this is the reason why I decided to make this video because I wasn't sure if I needed to fill in the memo or not because I didn't think I needed one. So I'm letting you guys know that you do not need to fill in the memo when transferring wax, okay guys? And I'll say that one more time. It's where it says memo here optional. In the case of wax, you don't need to fill that in guys, okay? So I hope that helps you guys out. Okay, so all that you're left with now is to fill in how much wax you want to withdraw and transfer over to your wax cloud wallet. So in this box over here, I'm just going to select the max, but feel free to put in whatever amount you want. And it's going to show right here out of uh, the amount I put in. This is the amount that's going to be transferred because you do have to pay a small network fee. And then you're going to click withdraw. And you're going to get hit with this uh, message again that it says memo fillings required. But let me tell you, it is not required, guys, okay? Because I just did it and I will show you once again. So I'm going to click confirm and then uh, I'll show you the new balance in my Wax Cloud wallet in a moment. All right, so I'm back. And as you can see, uh, it's showing that it's been completed. And I will show you my Wax Cloud wallet to show you the updated balance. So as we go over here, you can see that I've got 146.42 wax now, whereas earlier I only had 21.04. So I managed to successfully send the wax over and uh, I hope this video helps you guys. I know transferring crypto can be uh, stressful, especially when uh, they uh, give you these pop-up messages, uh, warnings if you want to call them saying that hey, don't forget that the memo might be required. I know it scared me a little bit. So uh, here's the proof that you don't need to fill out the memo, guys, and you can send Wax over from Binance to your Wax Cloud wallet without any issues. Anyways, I'm out for now. Until next time, Mr. K-Star out.